Oh, what's up gamers? I'm playing Keeper and my health is a little bit low. I'm a tiny bit scared. I found a mod on the workshop that was literally called Keeper but worse. And all it does is reduce the Keeper's health down to uh, 2 HP. I thought this was hilarious and actually kind of cool. A bit of a throwback because if you didn't know before Repentance, Keeper always did have 2 HP. He was like actually one of the worst characters in the game. Undeniably terrible on all accounts. So I kind of wanted to see what it would be like to play with 2 HP again. We're gonna keep the wood a nickel and the store key though but that does not mean this is gonna be easy because two hits and i'm dead it's basically like the lost except i don't get rerolls it's just literally worse treasure room wow oh yeah talk about a challenge today geez do i even send it i think we always send it oh okay yeah, honestly your range up's pretty good anything to juice up the run before we do anything crazy Ooh, most definitely uh there's options and a credit card i want to see if i can maybe just buy the there's options take the credit card with me definitely not gonna be what we have to do and that's fine such a really strong early starting item there's no way i pass it up also this pill is a bad trip see now i'm immediately scared again because this is what it's like to have original keeper on this is back in afterbirth plus days and this character got released for the arg dude we knew we were gonna get something hard but what they released was something obscene it was the keeper except 2 hp maximum no wooden nickel no store key etc etc even worse things overall also didn't he have uh, even worse tier 8 maybe i'm making that up in my mind but i feel like i shoot faster now he was the definitive hard character but to be honest with you it wasn't like the lost where it was like kind of hard and i don't know kind of fun nah the keeper's just like a dried up dude man he was not <laughs> he's not cool <laughs> he had a big redemption arc with repentance but i want to reduce the health back down to two and uh really see how far we can get so we're gonna revert back to really old keeper strats which is i mean you can still do this now in repentance obviously but it was very essential back in the day to do wooden nickel in the rooms that you're fighting so, you know, you have a 50% chance to maybe live in case he takes some skilled damage. Alright, Ragman done. Two spiders over here. Oh, good old bandage and oh man these kind of suck uh yeah i guess we take the safety pin because i'm also making a self rule that i'm not taking any extra hp ups i did test and if you take an hp up it will just give it to him i'm not doing it we're saying it to the entire time it's giga hard time baby we're gonna play as if we had never ever beaten hush whatsoever and gotten the unlock keeper now holds a coin which back in afterbirth was a complete troll because it literally just made it so keeper started with one coin <laughs> Like, literally one penny. And then when Repentance came out, they made it so that one coin was just, you know, added to the health bar. That is the one thing that has truly bothered me about Keeper this entire time. And I really mean it. I've never said it. But something that truly bothers me about the character is that, like, three of his unlocks are just him buffing himself. Like, no other character in the game does that. Every other character is, like, you know, an unlock. Maybe you can add something to your starting character. Maybe even one or two. But three? Three of the unlocks? Oh, man. It feels like you only start playing the character once you've done like one or two runs boom monster manual we cannot lose the wooden nickel these are old strategies i can't believe it scapular sucks this is i forgot what it felt like to have absolutely no hope when it comes to getting rid of wooden nickel even now with repentance with three hp you can uh, make all oh, balls never mind everything's perfect yeah i mean dude this guy is really into it as well holy even now in repentance you can make the argument like oh yeah i can leave the the wooden nickel for this d6 i'll be okay but you're playing this two hp version of the keeper and i it's just so over if you just mess up even twice, dude. It's about to be over right now if I don't kill this guy. Kind of a big gamble. Yeah, not the super secret. That was a little bit too risky even for me. We want to try and get a bunch of money on the ground because that is a thing that Keeper is good at. 2 HP or 3. There's no denying he's incredible with sacrifice rooms. It's just a little scarier when you have 2 HP. But that's not going to happen on this floor despite having one. That's all right. Keeper always has 15 cent deals for devil deals, so we're not doing that. I will pay no money to you. Uh, I will go angels instead of magic eight ball that's double the ballage for the floor that's actually insane uh we're gonna go angels and we're just gonna hope that maybe this next floor is a little bit better the speed play was honestly maybe better there but i feel like i really need some kind of power locked in right now so i'll go for the planetariums because uh, at this point i can still work fairly well triple shot is no joke with keeper i think up until like i hit caves two or something i'll, I'll start feeling it definitely on the depths like if i keep this kind of statistics and we get to the depths uh we will be in trouble but as it stands I, we're still good i can keep it going maybe this planetarium chance will pay out for me in the most crazy
crazy fashion possible. Number one exciting thing for the run are definitely the balls that I own belonging to Keeper themselves. This is going to be a guaranteed way we get stats. We don't have to worry for the future because we're kind of set. That's why I'm not too worried about the run in general. It may seem kind of rough right now, but we've already set up for success with theirs options and future stats with the shop. You just gotta last a little bit and you'll slowly scale with... Oh god. Oh, we're fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, we'll scale with the game slowly but surely, so it's no big deal. Couple special rooms over here. Treasure room. Key bum's okay. I gotta go blind. Curse eye. You know what? I am not gonna excuse this. I'm gonna be real. This one kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this one is uh, a little scary. Now, don't get me wrong, it's really good DPS-wise. But it is absolutely terrifying with a 2 HP Keeper. If I get hit while I'm doing a room, I get down to 1 HP and I TP out, and then, you know, I don't have any coins on the floor, it's completely over at that point. I can risk no chance of me getting hit. And the TP happens when you get hit while charging. Unfortunately, my tier rate's super slow, so the, uh, the window of opportunity is very high there. We're gonna have to play pretty defensively, I think. Pick up rewards, nice. Two bombs. I could easily also go in the boss challenge room. That was always kind of a scary thing to do as keeper, but I actually really liked that kind of risk reward because back then, and also now we can demonstrate that in order to go to the boss challenge room, I mean, you know, it's just one hit. That was the big idea. It's not even that bad. Except, you know, when you get in there and you decide to take the item, my God, a bunch of damage. Now you immediately have a 50% chance to do the entire room on one heart. Oh my God. Maybe I don't even need to take that risk. Maybe I just need to go to the member card shop get a plus two damage up and this is the most keeper run to be oh divorce papers as well okay okay here we go i don't need that much money to make that happen either only seven cents we got a mirror dimension to go we can definitely make that happen we can spawn a coin right here from that mountain of poops. Let's fight the boss, and that'll give me the option to maybe do the boss challenge room if I'm really, really, really feeling up to it. And I might be feeling up to it. You just gotta convince me a bit. Damage up, things are ramping up. Here we go. Hello, divine intervention. It's a, it's a big item, honestly. It's to be respected. Do not disrespect it. It can do some massive things. And more than anything, it's just defensive in general, so it has value. Here's all this cash moolah I wanted. Ooh, damage plus rune. Is it good? Nice. Soul of Cain, I might be able to guess wherever this ultra secret may be. Get out of jail free card is uh, useless to me, I think. Yeah. So let's go. Uh-oh. 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 Let's get that. Goodbye, Min Min. Hello, Tooth Ups. Yes. What? No. What? <laughs> Tooth ups. Not a big dealio though. Let's go back to the shop, lock in all of our shop items so we can increase our stats and head to the next floor. Do I want to go to the mines? That's a bit scary, dude. I don't know. I think I'd rather go regulars. Sometimes the risk honestly isn't even that much worth it. I would say always go downpour, but you know, mines, you could hit or miss, honestly. A ton of stats from that. This is honestly probably worth it. I mean, like I'll, I'll get money. Yeah, I'm going to get it back. No big deal. Three cents back from that. These sacks are maybe also worth it. Yeah, I'll buy a key. Get a bit of that from that and now we're seeing at 11 purely because of balls alone cat of nine tails does not exist on this run so sorry cat of nine tails you're cut from the show please exit stage left there's no way this is worth it at this point i, I feel like i well i didn't even mean it to, you know what that was not worth it i got the one coin i wanted to leave behind that was actually unoptimal as hell treasure room though and stitches man this is another moment man i cannot take it i just i feel like it's not worth this has got to be big please okay luna's big I, actually it, it has very very big potential it's just DPS if we're like really blunt about it. There's not really anything else to it. Usually it would also give like, you know, hearts or something. That's just going to get turned into DPS anyway because it flies. But the real value of this is the fact that our tier rate is so much better. So the margin of me getting hit while charging and TPing out is so much lower. And that is what I'm excited for. So very, very good item of find. Might not even do the sack room at this point because I'd still need money for the member card. Never mind. All right. Okay. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. We are perfect. We will get less stats from balls by doing this but it's just so much more worth it, I think. Uh, Chaos card, arrow walk. Ooh. Uh, let's definitely use the Soul of Cain somewhere on this floor. I'm just going to guess it. Take the arrow walk with me and we'll be able to defeat any final boss. Whoopsies. That does kind of suck. That is uh, actually a huge nerf. Now that I give it second thought, you cannot pick up nickels for sack rooms as keeper with this uh, nerfed version, no? When you have three HP, you actually have access, you know, two hits and then you can pick up a nickel and then you'll get those two hits back. But with two health total, you're kind of stuck no matter how much good health you have, whether it be a dime or a nickel, huh? Hmm, same deal with the curse rooms. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get the sack room then on this floor. Let's just uh, fight the boss then. This should be easy. Boom, goodbye. Okay, more pennies? No. Uh... 
A better trinket would be cool. I'm gonna remove this HP up, don't worry. Gigantic Bean kind of sucks. Yeah, I got HP. I'm just, I'm just gonna make it back down to two. And then I'm gonna spend like maybe 17 minutes walking back and forth doing only one play on the sack room. So just give me a moment. <laughs> At this point, it's just a random guess. Is it here? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Oh, well. Oh, hello. Wait, this is really good. Don't touch the spikes, by the way. This gives me just two attack flies, the uh, Tainted Apollyon ones. Yeah, that's that's actually really good. Massive boost in power. That sack room's super worth it already. There we go. Big stuff. Okay, no TP. Angel room item. Oh, Mongo worth, dude. That is unbelievably fantastic for us. Thank you. Oh, wait, now I gotta reduce it again. Oh, hold on. Anyway, yeah, the topic of uh, having all your unlocks, or I guess not all, but a majority of your unlocks being starting items for yourself. I don't know. I just find that kind of boring, no? I much more prefer the concept of you have the character. Nice, we got the coinage. And, you know, you do a challenge, and the challenges upgrade your character, like the uh, the Afterbirth Plus challenges, like Laz Bleeds More or Maggie Now Holds a Pill. That kind of stuff is fun. Keeper's unlocks have always been the worst part of the character for me, in my opinion. But oh well, we are popping off, so let's just freaking go, dude. We got a beastly run, so there's nothing to complain about. We also got a damage multiplier with us, as well as a golden locust trinket. Let's just go. Haven't really decided where I want to go, though, specifically. And I have the time of my life. <laughs> I've never felt this way before, so I feel like I'm gonna go to the chest. Dad's lost coin moment. This is really good. Very happy about the luck up because we still have negative two luck. It doesn't feel like it in terms of items. Item wise, I oh mean, I'm bad chilling if I'm real. But pickups wise, we've been doing well, but I could use more, you know? And getting out of the negative luck zone is the first step to that. Whoa, okay, I think I should have gotten hit, but I will take it, thank you. Goodbye pile deal? Wow, really, nothing. Uh, I don't even care about either of these, and then, so I'm just gonna go. Neither of them do anything that I will allow on the run, so uh, let's just go find the treasure room instead, and hopefully the shop so we can buy some stuff. Okay, well, here is the shop. We got restock. That does not suck. I will be taking it. Member car- all right, I don't know what happened, but thank you. <laughs> wow, holy moly, what the? Is Jawbreaker better here? My luck stat is so bad. But like at this point, I also have Godhead, so maybe I should just really stack up my damage for these. Yeah, honestly, I mean like Locusts are just gonna do nothing for me. I also want to buy this again. Maybe- oh! Maybe we get a god item again, because that's just something that can happen, I guess. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go get seven more sets, be right back, holy moly. There's a uh, five in there, two cards as well, and there's a lot more money in here. Okay, I think we're set, guys. Keeper, but much worse, but also much better items. <laughs> Wasn't here, juicy sack, honestly really good for the slow that it can provide. And so it turns out that Depths 1 was the marker today. The place where it really mattered, and where the tides of my run will change. Also, Habit was there, uh, so sad but i just literally can't afford it i am now officially broke i spent all of my life savings on a black market underground because i thought the crown looked cool a live and learn i suppose okay so we're broken let's go dude i don't really see a way we could lose well, honestly ringworm is maybe better here the tears ups is big and it's gonna be really good for our godhead aura also just more goofy so i'm gonna run it already found the boss don't need to do that just yet but we will just run through everything a straight up train on all of these rooms honestly i don't see anyone surviving school pag all oh, that's big as well as piggy bank for defense i also want to see what's down here steam cell is coming in clutch there's a restock machine that's so interesting okay i think most important thing is piggy bank first because that gives us coins back this will give us the opportunity to buy the school bag deep pockets is there so we buy that as well and that will make our lives a lot easier when it comes to survivability because usually we can't be that survivable but we're doing anything in our power to make it possible also a sack room on this floor that becomes very interesting for us but now there's too many things asking for money and i don't got enough money to give i i'm not taking mark usually i'm in like a whatever attitude you know I'll, I'll take everything but that will mean that i don't have too much control over my charge and that gives me a higher chance to tp still never tp'd on the run yet though playing pretty well so i'm not gonna you know forfeit that whatsoever i'm gonna keep that going was there anything cool in the curse room? There most definitely was a tears up as well as a TP. Now a TP is interesting because I know this is a TP. Do I want to do anything about it first? Maybe we could leave it alone for now. Maybe I can find like a beggar and I pay it out or something and I make the deal chance more in favor of angel than devil. Let me fight nothing here. Okay, so I think we go hard on the sack room. We'll probably land you feel blessed. Take the red curse chest uh, and go nasty on mom, I think. 
Look at that, piggy bank's going crazy as well. I don't even need to backtrack whatsoever. This thing is paying out like it's nothing. Boom, again, wow. 82% chance for the never mind. I just get to come here, hello. We don't even need to take the red chest. That's just gonna be a waste of time. Maybe an angel item? Boom, no, all right. I don't care about the rest of these either. I'm sure I could literally one-shot every single one of those angels, but I don't want to risk it because what if I don't? <laughs> That's how you got to play with the Keeper, dude. Old Keeper was crazy. Old Keeper is like, nope, you don't take any risks. Play slow, play smart. I said I wanted to go to the chest, so let's do that. Hey, good day for angels, no? Definitely showcasing the power today. Honestly, it wasn't even angels. It was the black markets. <laughs> they just so happened to have angel room items, but the point still stands. Uh oh, no, no, no. Oh my god, thank god. Oh my god, thank god. Oh my god, thank god. There seems to be a coin in here. I, I guess piggy bank dropped it. Okay, we're good. That was terrifying, guys. If I TP'd literally anywhere else and that wooden nickel did not pop off like it seemed like it was about to do, uh, that could have been GG's. That really could have been it. That was so terrifying. We cannot let our guard down, even for a second. Look at that. I got confident for two seconds. Ego checked immediately. No, not happening. Also, goodbye, beggar. Better deal chance for this floor. Let's go find that boss. Damn, we really got shredding damage for real for real nothing can survive my onslaught oh my lord an utter massacre matriarch done for more damage thank you another angel i don't even know how we got school back so this increases deal chance for the next floor where i get sacred heart should i go for the key pieces it might be too late i literally just didn't want to but okay if it shows up one more time naturally i'll do it i'm not gonna force it though it's time to go womb too let's head straight to the secret room on the right and then maybe we'll find our boss in a similar direction that's not where it is bozo looks like we already found our way i'll just get like a quick maybe guess on the super secret nope okay i'm just gonna go because i don't think this guy is living oh my god guys it lives got cooked <laughs> no electricity all gas that was nasty so you know for all those afterbirth plus players out there wondering how to uh, beat your keeper runs because you don't have three hp because you weren't able to get repentance you know just follow my uh my advice simply get a repentance item that gives you godhead and crown of light and that's it you know i mean if you're not following this advice what are you even doing if you purchase now for the cheap price of three payments of $9.99, I'll even send in a free DVD of this incredible, like, chopping tool that I have that uh, it has no reason to exist. Look at it go. Uh, actually, to be honest with you, it is kind of sick. Seems highly convenient. I would even use this. <laughs> Isaac, hello! Isaac, goodbye! Oh my god. He kind of snuck a holy light on me. I almost got hit, but nope. Yeah, we're all good. I think this is Keeper's victory. Anything good, Hourglass, Camo, Seraphim, best bud. Camo kind of sucks because it it really does not synergize with any kind of uh, charge items. You kind of have to commit to it, but oh well. Conjoined progress, I guess best bud kind of does something. Not too much. Yeah, you have to walk in here and then commit and then you get the big damage. But if you just come in charged, obviously camo cannot proc, so it's uh, kind of an anti-synergy. Secret room in here. How many of you believe? I am curious. If I set up a poll right now, would you vote yes or no? You should have voted yes. It would have happened. That must have been your guys' fault. I'm certain. You guys from the future, majority voted no, I don't believe. And it's your fault for manifesting that. I'm certain of it. Shame on you. <laughs> I, you know, honestly, shame on me. I could have maybe pressed E a little bit better there. Really is dependent on the pixel you place the bomb on. Wow, what absurdo damage. I can't believe the kind of run we came across. <laughs> It was just me playing Isaac, man. I actually did nothing. I played Keeper, I had less HP, and I played Sacrifice Rooms despite that, and I still got massive W. And that's just to show how powerful Sac Rooms are, man. And some players still don't know the power of them. Whoa. I really mean it. You know, you check anyone who's new to Isaac and they see that spiked room, they walk inside and they're like, I don't know what this is about, and they walk out. They don't understand the power and that's not their fault. I wouldn't say it's good for new players to really use, but when you are more experienced and comfortable with losing that kind of health, I mean, the possibilities are undeniably endless when it comes to sacrifice rooms. I think it's time we deal utterly catastrophic damage to Blue Baby. We've been saving this arrow walk for a long time because we will savor the moment. Savor the moment, everyone. We're going to slow him down. One, two, and three. You're done for. Boom. Any void today? No, we got perfection. That's how well we played. Dude, good job, everyone. Thank you for the support. You're the reason that I got this perfection in the first place. What a nickel. We got one final lucky coin. You guys are the best. I hope you enjoyed and GG.